my name is Leroy Harbach. I'm a senior instructor for the CMC Rescue School. And we're going to be going through using the 3D as a lowering device. So we've got our anchor built up and we've got the 3D connected into the anchor. First thing I need to do to rig the rope into it is open the device up. And I'm going to go top down, but it doesn't matter which way you, push, you pass the bite of rope through. We engage the center bar, making sure that it's locked off. Then I'm going to take the rope and continue to pass it through around the bottom of the horn, up over the top bar, then across over, and then to lock it off, I'm gonna put in a half hitch up over the top. to secure it into place. Once we've secured it into place and the system is locked off, we're ready to begin lowering. Okay, so with a lighter load or a single person load, as we lower down and we wanna stop, we wanna be able to tie the system off. So I wanna cross over, bring it up, and then put a half hitch in to tie the system off. Now a variation of that would be where I cross back over on itself again, put a half hitch in and tie it off on the opposite side or on the dominant hand side would be another option. Okay, so once we've got the weight in the system to begin lowering with the device, the first thing we need to do is take the half hitch off to unlock it. So once I drop it off of that horn, it's like any other descent control device, I always want to keep the tail of the rope in my hand. So with a single person load or a two person load, it really comes down to how many horns that you have engaged determines the amount of friction in the system. So if I drop off one and I can begin to lower, if I feel like I don't have enough friction, I can always stop, put a little tension on it, and bring it through and begin to lower that way. Comes down to the angle of approach and how many horns that you have in the system is gonna help you determine how much friction is actually required.